If you've downloaded my Movie Mario rig, you may be super duper confused on how to work the whole thing. The rig is really complex, not because I'm good at rigging, but because I use an automatic rigging system that's built into Blender called Rigify. There are still some custom elements in there though, so learning how to use general Rigify rigs won't teach you how to completely use this mod. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use this model to its fullest, so that way it's not frustrating to deal with when you use it. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you might notice when you use it is that it's really laggy. That's because the model is, you know, very detailed and uh, high quality and high poly and whatever. And obviously you don't want to have that lag when you work on it, especially when animating. There's a simple solution to that problem though. All you need to do is go to Render Properties right here, go to the Simplify option right here, press on it, and set the max subdivision in the viewport to zero. Now Mario is going to look a little bit more pointy, a little bit more low poly, you know, and his pocket's going to look weird and act weird, but just ignore the pocket. Don't do anything about the pocket, please. But he won't lag anymore. And don't worry, he's not going to look weird like this in the final render, just for the viewport, just so he won't lag when you use it. Now that we got the lag problem fixed, you may be wondering what these little green bones are. So if you're a beginner and you don't know anything about rigging, most professional or complicated or even basic rigs have two kind of movement systems for each limb. It's called IK, Inverse Kinematics, and FK. I don't know what that stands for because I'm stupid. By default, the rig uses IK, which uses bones that the hands and feet follow around and they stick to that point. This rigging is good for walking animations, just standing poses, and all sorts of stuff. As you may notice, Mario's feet and hands are locked into place. Perfect for climbing, for, I don't know, um, climbing up a ledge, or taking a step on stairs, or just walking animations in general. But if you don't want that, let's say you have a character that's like, I don't know, floating, or, you know, flailing his arms around and stuff like that, and you can't get the movement with location stuff with IK, you could always switch it to FK, which is what these green bones are for. All you need to do is go to either this bone or this bone right here. And you could set this little slider to 1. This will set the specific limb to FK. As you can see, I now rotate his arm with this green bone specifically. And you just need to do this with every individual limb. As you can see, now Mario's arms um, now rotate with these bones instead of following around this guy right here. Same can be said for the legs. Just do that and he'll do this as you can see. Uh, and yeah, so it's really easy to switch between these two modes and I personally like to use IK a lot, mainly for legs and FK for the arms. But that's because most of my renders have Mario standing. So now that we got that done, I can teach you about his face. Now his face is a very complicated rig, kind of complicated I guess, not the most complicated. But there are some specific things to it that you need to learn and kind of figure out if you want to get the right facial expressions or just make him look right. And one thing that you may notice right away is that it looks impossible to use. Like, what is going on here? What is this? What are these blue things? What, What is going on? I'm so confused. That's because... There are bones for his hair and the back and for his hat and everything and everything is all shown. But if you don't want all this messy looking things to happen, all you need to go all you need to do is go to the um, I forgot what this tab is called on the right. You know you press N to open this little thing. You go to item, you select the rig and you'll see this thing right here. Now these are rig layers. Basically all the bones are stored into individual layers that you can, you know, select and deselect. So that way you can show and hide them really easily. Obviously you have some of this stuff going on right here. So hat bones I can hide, as you can see they disappeared. Hat tweaking bones disappeared right now. Hair, I don't need that right now. And here's the face section right here, um, which we're gonna keep. And we can just deactivate all the body bones. Now it's just Mario's face. Obviously it still looks very complicated, but you'll get the hang of it, trust me. So, Here's the basics. These bones right here on the left and right are for Mario's lips. Just to move it, you know, up, down, make him smile, make him frown. And you may notice that his mouth has this weird triangle shape, but that's because you need to manually move these little circle bones out or in a certain direction. They're basically like adjust bones and they're pretty important for getting facial expressions to look right. 
Do not ever leave these bones alone. Or else his mouth will look like a triangle. You also have his jawbone right here, which is, you know, for his jaw. Open his mouth. You know, you can open it really wide. Make him smile. And obviously it looks kind of weird, but you, you know, you gotta adjust these bones. Basically, a lot of facial expressions require a lot of manual adjustments going on. Just because you gotta get the facial expressions looking right. But once you understand how to use it all, you'll get the hang of it and it'll be really easy to use. So you have his jawbone, you have his lips, the lips adjustment. You can move his upper lip too, and his bottom lip, and all that stuff. And you also have mustache bones. Now, I just want to know one thing that a lot of people forget, but in the movie, when Mario smiles, or his cheeks go up at the very least, his mustache also curls up. That's one detail that I remember because, you know, I watched the movie so many times. But a lot of people who use my rig or just movie rigs in general keep on forgetting this. So remember that if Mario smiles or his cheeks go up, you gotta move his mustache up too. Or else it'll look kind of weird and you can't tell what facial expression he's making. But yeah, you can rotate these bones right here. Blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't recommend you move these bones too much. These are mainly just like adjustment or just for the general bone shape. But I don't think these are going to be too useful. His nose is rigged too for smear frames or whatnot, and you can take this point and drag it around. This thing doesn't. Oh uh, yeah, this is like a curved bone, so you know you can curve it around for smear frames if you want to have some of those exaggerated motions going on, and you want the nose to kind of. I I don't even know honestly. Like, what would you use this for? It's there, but like, you know, his nose doesn't move that much, so. It's just there, just because. His eye rig is right here. Obviously, you can move his eyes around. Um, pretty simple. If you select these individual eye bones, you'll see these little custom properties right here for iris size and pupil size uh, and all that good stuff. So that way you can get different expressions like scared and, you know, um, I don't know, just scared, I guess. You have his eyelids right here, which are pretty complicated, I'd say. Kind of complicated. Just if you want to get the right shapes, you got to manually adjust some of this stuff. Not a lot, but if you want to get it like looking right, you just kind of need to pose, you know, work on the eyelids a little bit. You know what I mean? To get the pose looking right. One thing about this rig is that there's a lot of manual tweaking going on. You know, adjusting the bones, adjusting the poses and bones and stuff like that not because the rig is bad but because it's complicated and if you want to get facial expressions looking nice and expressive and dynamic you gotta adjust a lot of stuff eyebrow rig pretty basic actually just one bone that you can lift up and you may notice that his eyebrows don't arch right that's because you gotta rotate these so that way they make that nice arch shape that he always has a lot of people probably don't notice that you have to do this but yeah so now you got this you can make him mad if you wanted to you can make him scared you know adjust it around it's a really simple eyebrow and it's really good so uh, that's nice um, you could also widen his eyes and if you want to get rid of this little fold right here you could just move this up and one thing to note is that if you have Mario like upset right here and you want to make him angry at the same time you may notice this little crease going on right here, which uh, is bad. You don't want this. You just get this yellow bone right here, and you adjust it down, and you can get this one right here. This is like the lid fold. So you know how eyelids have like folds under them? Basically, it's just for you to adjust it, so that way his eyebrows don't have a super duper defining crease in them. But anyways, you have that. Lower eyelids, um, some stuff. This bone. I don't know why it's here, I mean I guess for more realistic faces, but it's just part of Rigify. You don't need to worry about this one, just don't ever use this one, ever. Same for this one, and this one. Oh no, this is ear, no, no, never mind, you can use that. I'm sorry, I, I'm not bad at using my own rig, okay? Trust me. But there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in this ear parent. I gotta fix this actually, ooh, that's not good. But yeah, there's the basics of the face rig. And one extra thing that you don't want to forget is face stretching. Perfect for smear frames or for just extra cartoony facial expressions in general. To get face stretching, 
you press on this circle bone that goes around his whole face. You just move it around and his face will stretch. And let's say you want to have Mario like super surprised or like there's a big smear frame going on like he's falling down and there's a spear frame. You can do that. And what's really cool about this is that it's non-destructive which basically means that any facial expression that Mario has, like the eyelids or the eyebrows and stuff like that, will not be ruined at all. It'll stay in place, which was an issue with my older rig, where stretching the face would kind of distort the eyelids and the eyebrows a little bit. But that's not here, so that's perfect. Now that, now that we got face stretching over with, I think we can move on to the hair. So you may notice that the hair is sticking out. Now, if you want to get rid of that, all you need to do is go to the hair bones, select the, you know, the root bones of the hair right here, and you could just rotate them back. Easy. Another thing, the back of the hair is sticking out, just kind of move that in, scale it down, or scale it on the z-axis or the y-axis or whatever. And then in the movie I noticed that his hair kind of tucks into his hat, but not when he has his hat off. So as a solution to this, I just kind of made this bone and you just scale it down. And it creates that little, little, little nice tuck effect, as you can see right here. So uh, yeah, that's how you get, that's how you hide his hair away. Now for the hat rig, um, it's not really that necessary. I mean, unless you have you know Mario's hat moving, but usually he doesn't really take off his hat. Don't, don't ignore the bald head. But this is the parent bone for his hat right here. You know, you can move it around, rotate it, scale it. The front of his hat, which also includes the emblem. The little M on it. Mainly just used for adjusting adjusting smear frames or whatnot. And these are mainly just adjustment, you know what I mean? Like for cloth effects, since the uh, hat is made out of fabric, it's gonna be pretty pretty bendable and what and stuff. So really just adjustment rigs if the hat interacts with anything. You also have the brim of the hat. Uh, you can move the whole brim with this diamond bone right here. Uh, it's kinda weird. So I don't recommend you do that too much, uh, but you have the front brim right here, the other side of the brim, and you can just kind of adjust them around if you want. So that's it for like, you know, Mario's face and head and stuff like that. Now we can move on to his body. Now this is like a very simple bare bones version of it, but this is actually like all you need if you want to pose them. These are tweak bones, so basically if Mario has an extreme deformation, you, you work with these so that way you can kind of fix things up but for really for basic stuff this is enough so this is his upper spine which you can just move like this his lower spine or his hips which you can move like this obviously dance around, around and this is his torso so this is like the control of his whole body basically minus the IK bone so that way if he like lands or something his feet stay in place if it's an IK move you also have his neck right here, so, you know, if you want him to, like, what do you call it? Crane his neck forward, or something like that, or crane it backwards, or to the side, or whatever. You can do that. It's very important for posing, by the way. Don't ever ignore the neck. And you have his head right here, which may be confusing to find if you have the whole rig activated, or, like, the whole rig visible. But this is his head bone right here, as you can see. Um, here it is, with all this mess head bone right here, Do not forget that. Now for the torso tweaking, these blue bones right here, these are just really for general adjustments. So that's basically it. Um, you have this right here, this stuff. But generally you don't need to use these too much, so don't worry about it. But also it's really simple to learn and use, so I don't think I really need to go over this too much. But yeah, that's his torso. Now we can move on to the hands. Now the hands, you may notice look really weird like there's no bones for his individual fingers right here that's because they're in hand detail now you can go ahead and pose these you know individually and whatever and it'll work but rigify has a way way better way of posing the fingers these things right here so you select them all and watch this you scale them down boom Boom! Fist closed. Super fast, super easy. Looks a little weird here. Get this thing. Do that. Bam! That was so easy. I swear, like, I don't know how to do this on my own. 
But Rigify is just the best, man. Super easy to pose his hands. A lot of you guys may not know this, but like, yeah. And I think advanced rigs have this usually, so, you know. But it makes it really easy to pose and stuff like that. So that way hands aren't really something to, you know, get annoyed over posing. Because it's really easy here. Well, so now you know how to kind of pose the hands in general. I'll show you a bit more, I guess. This bone right here is basically for spreading the hand out. Not, you don't use it too extremely. I don't recommend you use it too much. It's very subtle stuff, I think. Uh, I recommend you just use these fingers individually. But you could also um, spray his fingers out like this, so they can curl backwards. Obviously, you don't want to do that too much. But they can do that. Same for his thumb. And yeah, with just scaling the bones, it's really cool. So yeah, that, that's basically it for his fingers. I guess if you want to have more detailed, you know, uh, control over his fingers, more manual stuff, you can. But for, you know, realistic, basic hand poses, just this is perfect. Now I'll teach you about the adjustment bones for his clothes. So one thing you may notice that with some deformations, his clothes are gonna clip into his arm or something like that. You see the cuffs of the gloves going inside his arm. Or let's say you have Mario bend his back like, like this or something like that. And you know, he moves his head like this. You could see his collar clipping into his head. Or you raise his shoulder and then his overalls do this weird bendy thing right here and they clip into his collar and all of this is weird stuff is going on well i have a solution for that thankfully and that's just a cloth adjustment now i'm sure in the official movie they probably have cloth simulation going on but i don't want to do that that's too complicated i don't no no so my best solution is just cloth adjustment so you can just rotate his overall straps like this when he raises his shoulder, be sure to move this up a little bit. Rotate it like that. Just make sure to have his overall straps stay in a straight line. Because that's how they're supposed to look. You can also deform his collar right here. Um, you can adjust it for anything, any weird deformations going on. As you can see, you can move his straps too. And the cuffs of his gloves. So that way, if he like, bends his wrist like this. You could just move this like this, and bam. No more weirdness going on. So yeah, and you'll find those in individual rig layers right here. So you have glove tweak, which will only be the gloves. Shirt tweak, which will be the color of the shirt. And overall sweep, which will be, you know, the overalls. You got some of this going on right here. And yeah, that's it. Now one last thing for the root. It's just the root. That's you control Mario. Just that's it. Honestly, I don't know how long this is. I was not keeping track of the time or how long it took me to record, but that's everything. Pretty much everything you need to know, how to work my Mario rig, how to not get confused, and yeah. Also, one last thing. This is not really part of the rigging itself, but more of the materials. But obviously Mario has two little alternate appearances right here so you have damage right here and fire basically what these are are different you know visual stuff so this is rendered view of my mario and you'll see that damage right here this is a damage slider will change the amount of bruises and dirt so you set that to one and mario will have bruises and dirt and he'll be injured and stuff kind of like uh, at the end of the movie you know when he's fighting bowser and stuff like that so you can make renders like that, and fire, right here, I'm going to set this back to zero, is pretty obvious what it is. Fire Mario. This was never in the movie for some reason, but I just decided to make it. And I'll make more, um, I'll make more power-up combos later on. But yeah, that's it. That's all you need to know. Hopefully you have a way better understanding on how to use this. Thank you for watching.